and we're back. <laughs> so that's a little, uh, you know, preview into Sparkscape as a, as, a, as a character, but let's have a look. We're actually on my account at the moment because I have Sparkscape, because he's good. Um, but I'm only level nine, so I'm feeling quite uncomfortable next to Benny. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, Sparkscape. There we go. No, sorry. That's right. <laughs> right. Uh, so Sparkscape is uh, the Autobot hybrid. He is uh, quite fragile, uh, but he has some very, very good spark damage, and he can do some pretty nice healing. Um, he is uh, he is definitely a bot that people tend to go Rambo with. Uh, <laughs> it's all, all in, all in with the fire. He's got a yeah, but, uh, but yeah, don't, don't <laughs> use the flamethrower shields. Okay. Stop doing that. Okay, <laughs> please. <laughs> uh, so uh, Sparkscape uh, has uh, one Omni weapon, uh, one spark weapon and one repairing weapon. Okay. The only damage weapon is his rocket launcher, uh, with the S tech being a equipment disabler. Uh, so it disables equipment from uh, for your target and anyone within the radius around the target. So oh, great. So if you're facing a, a team of grouped up Decepticons, you can disable equipment across the board. Uh, particularly good against bots with good emer uh, emergency defensives. Okay. For example, if you're fighting flatline, he's about to go low. You know he's going to use dimension splitter, uh, disable equipment and he can't go immune, and hopefully can kill him in those uh, three or six seconds. OK, right. It's, uh, good, it's good that you can actually take him more than one as well. It's, it's a good kind of strategy yeah. if you want two people to turn run off at the same time, and you know that the you know, uh, spike's low. Yeah. Uh, second weapon is the flamethrower, uh, which is, again, very strong against uh, spark. Mm -hmm. The direct impact damage is relatively low, but also applies a DOT effect damage okay. over time. Uh, so even if you just tag an enemy, they will still take some damage after fleeing. Oh, great. Uh, the s -tech, uh, a napalm applies a field of fire in front of you, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, applies a DOT to anyone inside of it. Okay. A very, very powerful one. And finally, he's got the uh, repairing vapor gun, okay. uh, which repairs spark and shield to the same effect. Uh, the S take applies uh, stacks of a buff, uh, which effectively triggers when you take damage. So when you next take damage, you lose one stack and you get a small repair. Oh, okay, uh, right. So you can, and you can build this on targets who aren't in combat or even wounded. So if you're a stalemate and you kind of spill into two, two areas just waiting for someone to approach, right. uh, keep repeating this one on your targets. You can stack them up in advance. So when they enter the combat, they can have up to 20 stacks ready on them. Oh, nice. So you can that's prep a, them with 20 heals, basically. That's, that's a good, good way to uh, go into battle when you know that one of your teammates is yep. pretty happy to go. Uh, Nozzle conversion uh, is a massive in dam damage increase to uh, your flamethrower. Okay. Uh, only to the primary damage, not DOT. Okay. Uh, and uh, it also increases all repairs done. So it, it's good as it's better for damage. So it scales mm -hmm. better with damage. But in emergency emergency situ situations, uh, <laughs> you can use it for useful. repairing as well. Okay. Cool. Um, his only defensive ability is repair reverser, or self defensive. Sorry. Yep. Uh, which uh, uh, repairs him when he repairs an ally. Um, so good. that makes him. So he needs a wounded ally to to be defensive, basically. Yeah. Uh, which makes him match up very well with someone like Showdown. Okay. Yeah. Who's uh, always taking. Yeah, because he can he can damage himself. He can take away from his own health and shield pool. Um, and um, uh, yeah, so yeah. Uh, a good way to fight against Sparkscape if you're facing. Uh, so for example, if you're playing Meteor Storm, and you're facing one on one or two v two, is to don't damage his teammate. Just go for him. Uh, as long as he doesn't have a wounded teammate, he can't heal. So a oh good right, tactic so is hitting him. And yeah. The other so, are fine. so if you just ignore his friend, he can't really heal up. Uh, but if you spread damage around, if you're going even damage between the two, then he's quite strong. Ah. And finally is the engine purifier, which deploys a little mechanical device, <laughs> uh, which every second removes a debuff from nearby allies. Okay. Right. Great. Um, to tell what debuffs you can remove, well, this can remove any classified. Uh, but some debuffs aren't classified. To tell what you can and cannot remove, uh, look at the buff or debuff icons on a target. Okay. If it has a golden border around the icon, it means you can interact with it. Okay, so, right. uh, in Spark's case, it means that you can dispel it. Uh, if you see a golden border on a uh, buff when you're playing flatline, it means that it's a hull boost which okay. you can uh, remove, uh, and so on. Nice. So anything with golden border, you have a piece of equipment or weapon that can interact with it. Okay, great. Um, let's pop into tuning because I don't think I've tuned in properly. No, I removed your points. Sorry. No, it's good. It's good. Right. Um, <laughs> Before we go into it, just um, so start thinking about how to make Sparkscape better because I'm not very good at tuning. Uh, we have uh, an update on the Decepticon uh, skill scores for our levels one to ten. Uh, at first, we have Selenor at seventy-four, uh, Killick, oh Kill, uh, it's a capital I, yes, Kevin Killick at seventy-three, uh, and TJ David at uh, seventy-two. Now this isn't final; it's just to give you an idea. 
of uh, what the skill score level is at that level. Um, but we'll let you know um, after Monday morning. Uh, yeah, let's go see how to make my scarf scar skate. Scar oh my gosh, I can't speak. That guy, uh, yeah. how do we make him better? All right, so I have a spectrum to spark damage. Um, I'm going to play the guy who runs in at the end and mops up. OK. Uh, which means I want my fire to do more damage, uh, which it does with spark damage. Um, I'm not going to go as much uh, healer roll, or I would expect some repairs. Uh, if I'm worried about dying, mm -hmm. uh, I will start putting some points into either of the three. Um, spark and shield strength scale better if you don't receive any heals. OK. Uh, if you reliably will receive heals, uh, it's better to put points into resistance. OK, right. Um, and the power core. I selected is the uh, stabili destabilization barrier. Okay. Um, my big weakness is that I'm quite fragile. If I get locked down, I'm probably gonna die. <laughs> uh, so if I get well. so this is basically to counter uh, or not counter, but to uh, survive a bit better against bots like Dustum and Conduit. When they okay. do mobilize me or stun me, I'll take less damage. Right. Okay. That's a good move. And uh, you don't have. I don't have many consumables. I might have like three or four. No. I have none. Oh, you no. have none. So we're not going to use any consumables. <laughs> Everyone's Thank shaking you. their head at me. I do have some, j just on um, the other hanger. Um, right. So let's jump into a game. Uh, let's yep. throw them in there. So we have an update on the Decepticon skill scores for levels 11 to 20. Uh, at one <laughs> is uh, Pork Chop A Spring Roll. Uh, it's a uh, 75. Alex at 75 for number two. Number three is Cortex Zero at 75. Uh, and number four is Z Furry at 74. Now, as I mentioned before, these are not final, and they may or may not be. Th these might change every hour. Uh, but we're going to keep you up, up to date just to let you know what you might be uh, facing up against. I was removed from the list. Hey? How yeah. Well, I mean, you do work here. <laughs> it is kind of unfair. <laughs> yes, no, that It'd is. It'd be a nice. Uh, Increase because so we do have uh, prizes for every uh, we have for the top ten in every category that we have is mm, six I believe um, the top three I think get yeah, cash prizes so no <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes and then the rest from uh, four to ten in, the, in each category uh, gets a goodie bag which is a nice bag with uh, lots of swag anyway right so let's get into a game I Enough struggled to keep in track of the uh, of the stream and knew that I changed to your account so. Good. You have ice dropping on Francis now. Yes. Uh, Recharge was lost. I think he's probably still sitting there in the subsequent in the base waiting for me to Guys, I'm sorry, I said. So yeah, uh, apologies in advance or in retrospect. Well, yeah. yeah. Apologies. Apologies. At least it's there. Yeah. Uh, cool. Let's just pop into the uh, outer base while we wait. Yep. It's probably because I'm level nine, uh, and I know because it's double XP week, and people have been uh, doing very well uh, raising their level. Um, but uh, help. <laughs> it's just because last, last, uh, last weekend I, I got to see a lot of stuff, like when we're, we're going through your, your games with uh, Benny and with Tron, um, but I didn't actually get to play many games. So I'm glad that we've got the double XP uh, this weekend as well. Exciting. Um, there's this, mm, I have a question here. So let's just talk a bit more about Sparkscape. Is, is he? Considered because you were mentioning before that you know there's a f uh, people running with flamer and like the f sorry flamethrower and the healing. Um, is he like a hybrid character? Yeah, or? so so he's quite literally a hybrid. That's oh. the class name. Um, he's got a subsystem that plays into that quite well as well. Mm -hmm. um, so whenever he does damage, he builds a stack of a repairing buff, mm -hmm. and when he does repairing, he builds a stack of a damage buff. Uh, you have more people on your list now. Uh, yes. So Nexus Five, the guy that you hunted down. <laughs> so let's, let's invite Nexus here. Uh, so when you uh, so when you do damage, you mm -hmm. make your repairing stronger. When those stacks hit twenty, uh, a buff kicks in, which makes you do uh, twenty percent more damage all to right. uh, well with all your damaging weapons. Mm -hmm. Likewise, if you do a lot of repairing, uh, you will and hit twenty stacks of that. Sorry, I said that same thing again. No, it's if you <laughs> If you repair and build 20 stacks of damage buff, you will do more damage. Okay. If you do damage and build 20 stacks of repairing buff, you'll do more repairing. Uh, so if you s uh, he's actually very strong when swapping between damage and repairing a lot. Okay. Uh, so keep track of those two buffs. Uh, when they hit 20, you may want to swap if circumstances allow. Mm -hmm. um, but you also, I mean, as you said, like a lot of people run them with just the two weapons, but you do have one as well, which is quite good against. 
Spark and Shield. Uh, yeah, Spark yeah, and Shield. Yeah, so the rocket launcher is definitely powerful. Um, the um, uh, the equipment disabler also does a bit of DOT damage, so some damage over time. Uh, so you can... It can be used as a... Like, if you end up in a long-range situation, mm -hmm. uh, where you can't really utilize your other stacks, um, or if you don't need to uh, use yeah. the defensive one, uh, then using the... Uh, you can use the uh, rocket launch for some damage up as well. Okay. Just yes, a little bit more trickle of damage. Um, you got some mining. Oh, the, here's a three, as we were talking about yeah. before. So when you've got a three, it's it's a lot harder to uh, to yeah. get the mining, but it's right. totally worth it. Yeah. Someone left this one quite empty, so it's uh, already it's okay. gone away. You can use them off. Um, but yeah, so you like to bump into some uh, hulks. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they're still called hulks uh, when doing the level three mines. Mm -hmm. Sorry, just uh, <laughs> uh, right, so we, we're just we're just waiting for our game to match up. We've got a three by three with our team, uh, with Ice Trap and Nexus Five, um, loading into a elimination with Santa Vega. As I mentioned before, I am level nine, um, and I'm trapped. I'm not trapped. I've been saved uh, by not only having Benny wield the uh, the wheel and the character, but uh, with two two guys with quite high uh, levels. So we're trying to do a fair uh, matchmaking at the moment while we wait for the match to begin. We have an update as well for the skill scores for 21 and plus, uh, 21 and up, the Decepticons. A uh, little crosswind is at 80 at the moment. Uh, Ice Trip at 78, Riddle Art at 76, and Leanbow Jr. 75. It's uh, yeah, um, so close, actually. Yeah, yeah something to mention as well, uh, the uh, vehicle weapon. Mm -hmm. So I was talking about having a chaser on your team right? Uh, when playing Rampart. Um, spark Skip has one of the most powerful Spark uh, big weapons. Oh, okay, right. Flamethrower. Yep. So he's an excellent chaser bot. Uh, you might have noticed uh, uh, Omega Supreme, Nick, in the tournament uh, last weekend uh, was our dedicated chaser. <laughs> if an enemy went without shields and tried to run away, he would... He would just... Like a yeah, dog. Like a madman, drive off the... <laughs> All right, so we've got our elimination with Santa Vega here. Ah, Matty's here as well. That's great. We had him uh, here uh, last week as well. Yep. Yes, we did. We did. And he was a nice guy. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, just make sure you guys, um, we are giving away t-shirts. We are giving away a lot more. So make sure you tweet at MMO Transformers with the hashtag test your metal. Uh, we will be giving away a lot of stuff uh, for the duration, not only this one, but the next uh, live stream over in the US with Mr. Chris Barassa. Right, so we've got a Sparkscape. We have triage. Ooh, we have a Ooh. triple hybrid and a tank healer. That's be interesting. Uh, so we'll have quite a lot of healing here. Um, so something worth noting is that Sparkscape, as of the last patch, has been nerfed a bit as well. OK. Uh, primarily his healing abilities. Uh, so the, uh, the repairing bonus on nozzle conversion was lowered from 75 to 50%. OK. Because uh, he was a bit too good as a main healer. And the... Uh, Repairing received from a repair reverser has also been lowered. Okay, right. Uh, so so he's a bit more squishy than before. Um, it's just not waiting for the yep. match to begin. And so we also have an uh, anomaly on the team yep. as well, which is so something we we'll go into uh, later today. Yep. Which is quite exciting. Um, right, so um, while you're waiting, we do have... I think we have... Uh, oh, right, I, I think we should remind people about the T-shirt. So we had, we had um, our developers here at Jagex created a t-shirt that we're giving away as well. So make sure you uh, not only just tweet us at uh, MMO Transformers uh, with hashtag Test Your Metal, but also follow us on Twitch, uh, share us around and get people to watch. Uh, we will be having uh, concurrency giveaways as well, so the more people that are watching, the more giveaways we'll be doing too. So exciting stuff. So all right, we jump straight into the game and it seems that we have the inner Mexican hiding away. But he has a... Let's try to come off here. Oh, that's not a good way to cut him off. <laughs> so there he is. He's uh, so it's everyone's pretty much going straight into the, the fray. There's no uh, picking off from distance. It's, it's quite hard, right, I guess, so on this level yeah. as well. So that was actually very bad of me. I disabled equipment right after I used every single piece of equipment. So there was nothing left to disable. <laughs> uh, how to not use the uh, the Aztec. Right, so in this situation, you've got, uh, as you mentioned before, three healers and an anomaly as well. Um, in this situation, would you, I guess, try to go for like a double heal uh, with, you know, two sparkscapes, or hoping that 
uh, you're focused more on, on offensive, or is it one of those just having to play it by ear and see how? Yeah, so I'm it? I'm relying on Nexus for most of the healing here, to be honest. Um, I've got my 20 stacks, as you can see, down in the corner. All right, yep, just uh, above the uh, shield indicator. Yep. Uh, so that means that my repairing will now be quite strong. So I could help Nexus out with some repairing. Uh, although, let's see if we can find someone who's taking damage. We have Matta here, so I'm going to use there. my five and. Oh, you're going to pick up go? Oh, he did. Beam. Right, so that was. Oh, so a little bit of a miss, we went different ways around the house. Uh, so, yeah, getting me. So, yeah, uh, the enemy it was doing the right thing there. Um, definitely go for the Sparkscape. Sparkscape yep. is squishy. <laughs> uh, he is devastating against Spark, and he is a fairly solid uh, healer as far as hybrids go. Right. But he can't really take a hit. Uh, so, as you saw there, I never actually got a chance to use my five uh, for the self heals because mm -hmm. I couldn't catch up Matty to heal him. Uh, as we were saying before, is with five you want to be near others to make sure that it works. Yeah. It's prime. Yeah, so they definitely don't want to go for... Oh. Sorry, I might take too late. <laughs> uh, we will remember you. <laughs> so we have... Uh, Zina Maxson lost his shield, so he's running away, as you said before. Um, it's, it's good for him to chase... Spark escape is a good chase with his uh, spark attack as a vehicle form. At the moment, you're just trying to recoup yeah. some... Yeah, so I want to meet up with Matty again. Uh, assuming he's coming down here. Yeah, he's Jeez. come back in now. Uh, I'm pretty low, and uh, Nexus has just died. So All right, uh, Matty's changed Matt. into Overclock. Oh, so, so he's, he's not a healer anymore. He's not a healer anymore. We do have Nexus 5, which I believe is... Yeah, he's still going uh, Meltdown, meltdown. as he always does. Uh, <laughs> All reliable Nexus. All right, here we go. Now he can heal me up here. So I was uh, coming back to the spawn to meet up with uh, uh, with Matty for some heals, uh, but of course he went to overclock. Great. Uh, so let's hope that he sees that we're actually holding back now and doesn't go in. No, good. Good. He's come back to us. He's come back to us. That's great. Hey, buddy. So just help him out while you guys are regrouping. Yeah. Uh, this also gives him a chance to uh, build up my bonus damage here. All right. Of course, you can see at the bottom it's yeah. uh, counting up now. Yeah. It's up to so 20. Yes, yeah, so we got 20 stacks now. There's no effect until you get 20. Uh, so 19 stacks means nothing. Um, you really want to make sure it goes up to 20. Yeah. Although it's slowly wearing off now. So I would like to get a bit of damage in, but <laughs> no. And counterintuitive. Somebody hit me! All right, cool. So we got Ice Trap going. So yes, here we go. This All is right. a very nice team now. Ice Trap's got a showdown there. And I think this is actually before. our uh, tournament comp. Uh, so this is the same team we used in the tournament last weekend. Oh, right, of course. Uh, with uh, uh, Showdown, uh, Meltdown, Sparks, Giver, and Overclock. This is close. This is close. So what they want to do is definitely go aggressive on me. Yep. Uh, they are focusing quite a lot on... Uh, yeah, they're doing the right thing here. And it's stuck on the corner. So I'm going to go into my showdown. It's going to give me a bit of shield now, I hope. Showdown, give me some shields. No? <laughs> okay, no, I'll buy it. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Um, the uh, second competition we have running at the moment is uh, Recruit a Friend. So when you log in uh, and go up to the top, you can actually find a, a, a tab that goes into your, refer, uh, your Recruit a Friend. So for every friend that you recruit into the game, you give them a, a special link. Uh, once they sign, sign up and hit level 5, uh, that grants you 10 repair packs and it goes 5 to the Autobots and 5 to the Decepticons. If you uh, recruit 10 and they all reach uh, level 5, you'll be given an exclusive respray one of the uh, warriors. Uh, we actually have a competition running on at the moment for that, um, and it's essentially just trying to get as many people up to that level five as possible. So send out your um, unique link and make sure everyone signs up, uh, and then at the end of uh, Monday, we should be able to give out the winners, which is exciting. Right, so you can see me stacking up uh, <coughs> my, because we're, again, we're in a bit of standoff here, so I'm just gonna apply these s this little blue bubble here. Mm -hmm. uh, which means that next time they take damage, they'll also get a small repair. Okay. And and you, you because I'm not in combat, I will generate uh, my level 1 STX just over time. Uh, so, and it takes longer for the debuffs to wear off than it, it takes me to get another level 1. Right. Is, is that green glow around the character showing that they have the debuff on? Uh, no, the green glow is just the targeting. Oh, right. Uh, the debuff is the blue bubble. Or the buff, sorry. Not okay. Debuff. All right, so they are... Well, so we've got a little dust over there, which we'll want to take down. So the next time she shows herself, we definitely want to go for her. <laughs> uh, there she so is. showdown's got his... Uh, and she hasn't used her uh, equipment yet, so let's try to disable those. All right. Matt is going a bit low here. I'm going to use my 
four Napoleon's repairs, they have the damage. They don't need me to help just yet. Right, you mentioned before that also can help offense, but it's deciding whether you want to improve the offense or support the defense. So we got a good chase kill there, a reverse kill even. <laughs> How fancy. Um, <laughs> Somebody said in the chat, nobody makes a better teammate than your friend. Oh, that's true. That's so true. It's usually true. Usually true. Unless they are a horrible friend. Well, let's see. <laughs> or no, just competitive friend. I think that's a better way to put it. Um, you, you should you should work together as a team, but yeah, like like old comrades. Yeah, I'm selective, my friends. <laughs> Don't try. Don't try. <laughs> but uh, we have everyone back near the Decepticon base. Coming away. Want some shields? Want some shields? Yeah, want some shields. Oh, right, so that was a. Uh, so uh, two dry buys, both using their uh, equipment five, mm -hmm. is a lot of spark damage around them. So without any shields, there was no way I could uh, uh, repair through my repair reverser, okay, even right. with not full conversion active. Um, so unfortunately, they did that between cooldowns. I suspect on uh, ice traps uh, uh, shield flux, yep. which meant they couldn't give me any shields. Otherwise, um, so one of the reasons why a spark skip plays well with Showdown is one, he can use Repair Reverse off him, mm -hmm. but two, he can also get topped up with shields. Okay, right. The real art trying to be a little bit of a revenge, the guy who just took us out. Right. Although I, you he are... Was, you do not want to stay in closer, so... Uh, Manny, get away! Oh. So again, I was saying there was a little bit of uh, revenge you can get there, but you shouldn't. Obviously, Manny needed support, yeah, and so he, did, he did the right thing. Uh, yeah, so unfortunately he was kind of trapped in the... Uh, in the AOE damage from uh, Drive Ice 5. Right, so we got Dustle in here. I do not want to be close to her when she's used her 4. <laughs> so it's just get out of the way, let her we escape. Regroup with Maddy, or do you still have two people? Uh, yeah, they're still in here, uh, yeah. but it's uh, Meltdown and Showdown. They can hold on for a while, especially when Dustle has used her equipment on me. Okay. Ooh, it's really messy there. This is 5. I need to support him a little bit. So, coming around the corner. I'm trying to repair myself as well. Ah! Oh, <laughs> this is a close match. Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. So just to give you guys a heads up, we've been running a little comp with a designed shirt by our developers. We'll be uh, announcing that at uh, 9.45, which is about 30 minutes. Um, it will be signed by our developers as well. So a good thing to do with Sparkscape when coming up against um, Dust Storm is to use... Uh, Oh, uh, <laughs> the wall! Fire, fire! Okay. Uh, right, so when Dust Storm comes in for you, uh, mm -hmm. you can drop your Engine Purifier in advance, the Dispeller, because if she decides to stun you, it will remove the stun. Oh, great, okay, so you can really uh, So you kind of want to, yeah, so ideally you want to, ooh, Ice Trap got out very low there. The Mexican is just bolting as they've lost the shield, but you're going to be supporting Ice Trap. You got two. Yeah, we're, we're fine. We're fine. That's good. So I cannot use my repair bars to uh, heal off Nexus and get some health back, but I'm. Oh, sorry, Maddie. <laughs> uh, <but laughs> just to remind everyone, we it's a double XP weekend, so make sure you, you play from now until uh, Monday morning. You'll be getting double XP. As you can see, I'm level 9 at the moment, so I'm going to be um, making the best of that. Is actually helping, which is even better. Uh, so you've just taken another kill there with uh, Wolf Ravage, which is great, and Xeno Mexican yeah, system was down as well. There, yeah. So that's two. It's a really good. Uh, good oh, we are still alive. Right, if you'd like some heals, Nexus, stop healing Ice Trap. Heal me. <laughs> heal me! Although, it's, yeah, it's still good to keep showdown, but sometimes. There we go. go. Yeah. So make sure you stay in the field. That's something that we covered uh, before with Meltdown. Uh, with uh, Modron, to stay in that uh, green field and make sure that you get the heal. Going back as a group, that's good, you're sticking together, you're not going it, pushing in too hard uh, near the base, because yeah. as I mentioned before, that they can uh, wait as well in their base before going out. So they shoot. Not being shot, so. Yeah, so I'm thing. maintaining my 20 stacks here and I got level 2 special ready, so if we can see any shields dropping, I'm mm -hmm. trying to hold off here, and I want to get some oh. flames with my bonus damage. You switch to your rocket launchers here, back to your healing weapon. 
Alright. Keep him Maddie there. Oh, even stunned. Yes, there's a lot of hardcore. Get some use. So, Ooh, you see a bit Someone's got a vendetta against you. Oh, yeah. And I got uh, a slow on me. See if we can get back to the ice trap. Now we're looping on each other. Long way around. Well, yeah, so I held on to that level 2 S take for way too long. Um, <laughs> I was hoping that uh, Matt was going to drop some of the shields with his uh, uh, shield rockets. Mm -hmm. And then I could use the four st uh, 20 stacks I built up along with the level 2 napalm field and just, just yeah, incinerate someone. Although that plan did not come to fruition at all. It's fine. So you still have your teammates hanging around the base there, although one's trying to get away, so that's possible that you be low in health there. Ah, no shields. Yes. This is when you're um, yes. flame, you can get really close. So yeah, Spark Escape's uh, vehicle weapon is a flame, you need to be get really, really close, but as you said before, it's one of the most powerful. Yeah, so mobilize please. There we, there we go. Oh, yeah, nice out. trap, he needs a bit of support there, even stunned. Yes, I haven't been good with those engine purifiers to I uh, preemptively prevent that stun. <laughs> uh, but I also haven't been doing good at an eye That's on that stun. Which is where you don't have any team move. Oh, all right. Yeah. We'll Let's do this time. There we go. Really so close. No stuns in the green circle. Mm. Uh, you can see it there. Just to give you guys an update as well, since uh, we started the stream, the Autobots have the lead slightly on the Decepticons. But the Decepticons are coming back, so it's quite a close uh, was, uh, what have we got today? So they're on the chase. Uh, I think I've... Yeah, I think they give up. Let's go back into... Matt, who can do some healing here. Well, it doesn't look like I want to be here. No, oh. No, I do not. It's interesting oh, there though. we go. We got some oh. shields from uh, Ice Trap. That was good support. Yeah, the Nexus is on his way back. I believe he's not leaving it down. Trying to heal. Oh, no. Just overpowered there. Yeah, he didn't get up the stairs. Looks exhausted. There you go. Bring him back up. Although I'm not actually repairing that power course. I'm not getting the uh, damage reduction in the stuns. I sh could do with that. But I don't want to waste your energy. No, you well, can't. Well, I say waste. Not waste, you pay. Yes. This is what you need to do. This is uh, interesting to know as well with our little uh, raging war between the Autobots and the Decepticons. The Autobots do have the lead, but the Decepticons actually have more kills as well. Uh, it's not exactly. Uh, the most important part of when you're playing a game is trying to get the most kills. As I said before, if you're working in a team, if you're a healer, or if you want to focus on keeping your, your teammates alive, um, skill score, it's, it's all relative. You don't want to run in and just be guns are blazing. Uh, you want to be a good teammate, essentially. You don't want to stay here, though. I don't want to be the tank. So it's this is quite a close game. We, the Autobots do have the lead with three. Yeah, they're still open though. And you know, I mean, it is a, a, we've noticed many, many times before. I think last last week was a good uh, example of that, of how quickly a game can change. We had a lot of people yelling in our atrium, quite upset that they thought they were winning, and then all of a sudden the game changed very, very quickly. Uh, yep, so there's a dust storm. Down by dust storm, who's yep. now running away. Yeah, then they, they, they're playing this really well, actually. They're going, they seem to be focusing myself and Matt, they're not putting too much attention onto Ice Trap which is uh, exactly what they want to do. Keep dancing here. Oh, he run away again! Taking them down, there's one, that's two. We've got Riddle Art left. I don't think the fourth, I think there's one there behind there should you, be. There should be a team wipe for them. He's got his uh, redirect up at the moment. It's really close. Taking him down, thank you very much. That was the last one. And here's yes. the last one. There we go. Yes! That's... I've uh, gone let... I mean, the Autobots have won. That's what we should be singing. Uh, that was that was a really good game. It was good to see um, not only the fact that he is a hybrid, but the way he can support as well. Yeah, as I mean, attack. so I died quite a lot on that game. Uh, he is squishy. I hadn't specced anything into defense instead of one power core. Yep. Um, so they were playing it right. They were going for me. Uh, Dustin was doing a really good job there. Yep. Uh, knockdowns and stuns on me, which is exactly what she wants to do. And picking off the overclock if he strays from his healers. 
I just leveled up. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention to you. No. <laughs> Level 10. Yes! <laughs> okay, um, so what we're going to do now is we're, I'm going to leave the seat and we're going to switch over to my main Shawnee. Uh, but first, we're going to show you a nice little preview of the Founders video for the Autobots. <laughs> 